Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Barnum11970. I wanted to give a little bit of a Cypress update. Um, I will post a link to this. You can actually see a live stream on it while they are actually keeping it up. Uh, there are the beginnings of what could be a very nasty riot going on in Cyprus, uh, right near the Cyprus capital. Uh, the police right now are having some clashes with protesters, which are including employees of a um, Cyprus bank. Um, you could really see what's going on here, guys. The, the military, well, not the military, the police, who are the enforcers for the banks to keep the corrupt keep going. Um, they're sent in to keep the people away from their money. Um, the banks aren't open, and as far as I understand, the banks won't be open until Monday. Seems like that might not even be a possibility right now, but this could really start a major event around the world. And as a matter of fact, somebody actually sent me an email about somebody, um, hold on a second, let me read exactly what's going on, because um, the place that he sent me the link is to a paid place you have to subscribe to, so there isn't much information on it, but let me just read um, what he told me about a possible Euro collapse on the 7th of April. Um, basically saw this in the in original um, on the Facebook. Uh, where is it? Nope. Here we go. All right. Uh, so I won't bother to post the link because um, you won't be able to see anything. But it seems someone reckons that the euro slash U.S. dollar will be crashing by the 7th of April 2013. Somebody put a 900 million euro put. Um, Let's see what he says. My guess is to whomever, whomever this might be, let's just say he or she is in the know, and they are aiming to do biz, uh, billions in the skimming in the process. Um, so when you go to that link, it basically confirms it, um, but it won't give the full details because you have to be a paid member. So um, you guys can do what you want. You can make any conclusions you want. I'm here just to give information. But uh, the mainstream media, I don't know how far they will cover this. I don't have cable TV. I don't watch the television. I don't like to be programmed and told what to believe in. I like to draw my own conclusions based on real information, not propaganda. So um, if you watch cable, uh, let me know if there's any information out there to see if they're actually talking about it. But it seems like there are potential riots going on. The people see, and this is to be expected. When, they, when people found out they could potentially have almost up to 10% of their savings accounts stolen from them from the banks, who basically are just doing whatever they think they can do, and even though it didn't pass, the people are going to be – I mean, let's put it this way. If you found out that was going to happen, wouldn't you the first second the banks open want to get your money out as quick as possible? And now you see the police, who are the enforcers for the elite, are going to be preventing people from doing that. And um, who knows how far and how fast this can escalate throughout the world. So I made a video the other day talking about um, getting your money out of your banks. If you haven't done that by now, you better be careful because you don't want to be one of those people that finds out one day that you wake up that all of a sudden your account shows a zero balance because all it is is digital numbers on a screen. Um, I'm not saying that will happen, but do you want to take that chance? I mean, the beautiful thing about don't close your account. If you want, leave a penny in there. As long as you have something in there, it'll keep the account open. But I would rather be, and I've always said this, people say when they don't see a collapse or, because I've been talking about this since 2011, and so many of people said, oh, well, it hasn't happened yet. Well, first of all, we really shouldn't rush into that because there's going to be a lot of people dying and a lot of very bad things happening. So, you know, let's let's put it in perspective. Let's not hope for, you know, tragedies, even if it benefits us in the long run. You know, we're all supposed to be caring human beings. But so many people say, oh, well, it hasn't happened, and you've been talking about it for a while, so, you know, we're not going to pay attention or it's never going to happen. Maybe that's part of the plan, to make people so sick of even talking about it, by the time they just totally ignore it and try and go on with their lives again, bam, all the sudden stuff happens. So like I said, um, I've always said this before, I would rather be five years too early than five seconds too late. So that's why I'm glad I've been stacking up on my fiscal gold and silver since 2006. Now, back then, I didn't know that I was doing it for the reasons I know now, but I'm damn well glad that I did it. And I'm definitely going to take what little amount left I have in the bank and leave a couple of dollars in there just to keep the bank account open. 
and I'm not even going to be putting it in my federal credit union. I'm just going to be putting it in a very secure place that I have access to. So what you guys want to draw from this is up to you. If you think this is all crazy and paranoia and all this other stuff, and if you believe your governments throughout your world, wherever you live, are nothing but honorable people who do nothing but think of your well-being and your prosperity, then do nothing and keep your fingers crossed. Um, it's not being paranoid to be prepared. So with that being said, do what you want, research what's going on with Cyprus, and realize it's going to affect the rest of the world because of the people in Europe – ooh, excuse me. <laughs> That's why I don't edit my videos – the people in Europe are really going to see what's going on because they're close to this. You know, the media can try and hide as much as they can, but alternative media like this and many others are going to expose what's really going on. So I hope you guys will help me by sharing and liking this video or making a video of your own. So without further ado, I'm going to end this video so it's not too long. Thank you for watching, and take care, guys. Peace.